Here we have our SecuraTrack GO7 tracking device and our HRN EZT Y harness and our installation bracket. We'll be doing an installation behind the instrument cluster using the T-piece. What we'll be doing here is removing some panels from the vehicle to gain access to in behind the instrument cluster. So we're just gently removing the trim panels. This allows us a little bit more access to behind the cluster. So what we have here now is our instrument cluster, we're just going to remove the two bolts which are locating the cluster in the vehicle. Now that we've got the screws removed, we'll actually remove the instrument cluster from the vehicle. Okay, so instrument cluster is now removed. We've got to remove this lower panel to gain access to the ADD port. Just removing the plugs, remembering which location they went into. What we'll be doing now is we're installing our HRN EZT Y harness into the vehicle. So we'll be locating the factory ABD port, moving the side clip, gain us access to the factory port. The factory port will now plug into the matching plug in the vehicle. Grabbing yourself a cable tie. Looping around, making sure the connection is nice and tight. Now grabbing this end from the for the vehicle, and we'll be placing this end into where the factory ABD port resided. Locking that in. Now just grabbing the harness as so, using a couple of cable ties to neatly tie off. The extension harness. Now grabbing this end of your OBD extension harness and routing it up in behind where the instrument cluster normally go. So as you can see, we've wired our T-harness up into behind the instrument cluster. Now we're going to install our SecureTrack GO7 device using our installation bracket. Our GO7 device will be mounted into the installation bracket with the serial number showing towards you. have some double sided tape and two blue secure track over ties. Using the double sided tape, adhere to the back of the installation bracket. Grabbing one of the secure track over ties. Purely mounting around the bracket, holding the geo device into the bracket.
cutting off the excess. So we'll now be powering up our geo tracking device. Plug in grabbing yourself another one of the geotab cable ties feeding it through the location hole coming out the other side here securely locking in cutting off the access so we now have it securely mounted. Now we'll be removing the adhesive. Now that we've removed the 3M backing tape from the double sided tape, we're now going to secure the geo device onto a, a solid part of the vehicle. To make sure that the, the geo device will be more secure in the vehicle, we're going to use a couple of cable ties and secure it around to tie it in nice and tight. Now that's all secure into the vehicle, we can now put call support on 1300 653 395 and check our installation is all up and running correctly. Now we'll go through the process of putting our instrument cluster back into the vehicle. As you can see, plugging the harness back into the instrument cluster. Looking it all the way back around. Very securing. Mm -hmm. Two bolts. And now it's just the fact of returning the vehicle to its original state.